I mean, again, great performance all around, I think, from start to finish, apart from a, probably a 10, 12, 15 minute spell around their goal. You know, that gave them a bit of a lift. But in terms of the overall performance from minute one to minute 93, I think we controlled the game clearly. First half was a high rhythm, high tempo. We controlled every part of that. And I think even uh, Ballymena manager said he was delighted to get up the tunnel at half time. So, yeah, overall, probably the best performance of the season so far. And obviously, scoring a, a, a late winner is no better time to obviously score a goal. If you're going to score, you might as well <laughs> might as well leave it late. I mean, I don't know if it's good for the, the blood pressure of the fans or the, the coaching staff, but look, it's a brilliant lift when you can not, not only equalise late. I think if we had a left there with a the draw, we would have all been disappointed. But I think with the performance and the effort the players put in, I think the fans would have left satisfied, maybe, with the draw. But to get the win in minute 93 was brilliant for everybody. And how much of a lift does that obviously give the, the players then, coming off, uh, you know, having won in any of the games so far, and then to go away to the team that finished runner-up last year and, and, and win 2-1? Well, I mean, if you think, if you look at our, our fixtures so far, to start off with Glenavon, you know, top four team, Coleraine, top four team, Ballymena, top four team, and then a, a vastly improved Dungannon. You know, those weren't easy matches uh, to start off with, by no means. Um, but, and we've had decent performances in all of them, probably except for the first half against Dungannon. There were spells in the second half where we controlled it, but Dungannon had us, you know, had the goal and we were chasing it. But Overall, the first first games, we've been happy with the performances and we knew we were building week by week and we're continuing to build week by week. So it's a where we are now is just a, a step. We've got to keep taking those steps, keep taking those steps. And I think last night's game was another good step because we made eight or nine changes and it showed that with the depth of our squad, um, there were senior players out there last night that have a lot of games in their legs in and around the league. and. It was great to get them a, a, a match last night and they they knew that they had to perform and they did. And suppose, like you mentioned, uh, regarding last night's squad, uh, a lot of players maybe haven't had minutes, but you said that you, they knew that they had to go out there and perform. How did you say it's last night's game and the players that came in? I thought they were excellent. Uh, there's more things we can work on, you know, but when you put players together for the sort of the first time, not the first time in training, but in a game, there's always things that look a bit disjointed at times, but overall considering the amount of changes i thought their their ability to play together was 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 great um their enthusiasm was great their energy levels were great and they showed their quality and that's what we've got here at the minute we knew we had to build a squad not just a team um at the same time we're building a club but the priority was to get you know 20 22 23 men in here who compete every day for their position and we don't have to say much we didn't have to get them pumped up for the game last night Everybody knows in this squad that they're playing for their positions. They're competing in a squad that's competitive, and that's 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 the the, the best position to be in. And back to obviously the league action. Uh, just thoughts ahead of, of, of the game. Yeah, we look. We're 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 looking forward to the next game. It's been moved to the Monday night. It's a Sky TV game. Probably would have preferred the game on a Saturday. Um, you know, but Monday night's going to be exciting with the Sky TV cameras here and. Hopefully we get a good crowd. The fans have been brilliant so far. Uh, the last game we had here against Coleraine with the massive crowd for a, for a Tuesday night match, it was outstanding. I mean, to hear them singing and, and roaring and cheering was really, really positive for everybody. And don't underestimate that what that does for the players. I mean, even last night against Bally Clare, a smaller crowd, but you can feel the enthusiasm of the fans trying to cheer the boys on. Away to Ballymena at the weekend was amazing I mean the roars that were coming up there when we equalized and continued and continued to sing in towards the end and then when we equalized the the the, the joy that <laughs> went up in that stand was great to see and I think if we can keep showing the fans that we're in this to work we're in this to fight for the club and they're willing to fight and show their support this could be a, a really positive season moving forward I suppose there's a, a number of days left of, of the transfer window can we expect any and any new arrivals coming into the club? I, I don't think it'll be new arrivals, but there there could be a new arrival. You know, at this point of the season, it's never new arrivals. Um, but even if we don't get anyone, we're happy with our squad at the minute. We've got a great group of men. 
Um, we are receiving calls about our players going out, but to be honest, we don't want to lose anyone at this point. They're all, they've all shown that they, that they want to be here and we're happy for them to stay here. Um, but this is the, the high performance sports business. And if good players become available, we have to be in a position that we make a, make a place for them. And that's the reality of football. If you want to have, be successful, you have to be always looking to improve every day, every transfer window, every game. And that's what Glenn Torn is going to be doing.